May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. November 21, 2023 Memorial of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary A reading from the second book of Maccabees And so, Eliezer, one of the chief scribes, a man advanced in years and of stately countenance, was compelled to open his mouth wide to consume the flesh of swine. Yet he, embracing a most glorious death as greater than a detestable life, went forward voluntarily to the torments. And so, thinking over the manner by which he ought to approach it, enduring patiently, he was determined not to permit, due to a love for life, any unlawful things. Yet those who stood near, being moved by an iniquitous pity because of long friendship with the men, taking him aside privately, asked that flesh be brought which was lawful for him to eat, so that he could pretend to have eaten, just as the king had commanded, from the flesh of the sacrifice. So then, by doing this, he might be freed from death. And it was because of their old friendship with the men that they performed this kindness for him. But he began to consider the eminent dignity of his stage of life and old age, and the natural honor of gray hair, as well as his exemplary words and deeds from childhood. And he responded quickly, according also to the ordinances of the sacred law preserved by God, saying, that he would first be sent to the underworld. For it is not worthy for those of our age, he said, to deceive, so that many adolescents might think that Eliezer, at ninety years, had converted to the life of the foreigners. And so they, because of my pretense and for the sake of a brief time of a corruptible life, would be misled, and through this stain and desecration, I would defile my last years. But if, in the present time, I were rescued from the torments of men, I would then not escape the hand of the Almighty, neither in life nor in death. For this reason, by departing life with fortitude, I will show myself to be clearly worthy of my long life. And so, I will bequeath an example of fortitude to youths, if, with a ready soul and constancy, I carry out an honest death, for the sake of the most serious and most holy laws. And having said this, he was immediately dragged away to execution. But those who led him, and who were more mild a little before, were turned to anger because of the words spoken by him, which they considered to have been brought forth by way of arrogance. But when he was ready to perish by the scourges, he groaned and he said, O Lord, who holds all holy knowledge, you clearly understand that, although I could be freed from death, I suffer grievous pains in body. Truly, according to the soul, I willingly endure these things because of your fear. And the way in which this man passed from this life bequeathed, not only to youths, but also to the entire people, the memory of his death as an example of virtue and fortitude. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord upholds me. Why, O Lord, are they multiplied that afflict me? Many are they who rise up against me. Many say to my soul, There is no salvation for him in his God. The Lord upholds me. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I have cried to the Lord with my voice, and he has heard me from his holy hill. The Lord upholds me. I have slept and taken my rest, and I have risen up, because the Lord has protected me. I will not fear thousands of the people, surrounding me, arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. The Lord upholds me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And having entered, he walked through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. 
and he was the leader of the tax collectors, and he was wealthy. And he sought to see Jesus, to see who he was. But he was unable to do so, because of the crowd, for he was small in stature. And running ahead, he climbed up a sycamore tree, so that he might see him. For he was to pass near there. And when he had arrived at the place, Jesus looked up and saw him, and he said to him, Is Zacchaeus, hurry down. For today, I should lodge in your house. And hurrying, he came down, and he received him joyfully. And when they all saw this, they murmured, saying that he had turned aside to a sinful man. But Zacchaeus, standing still, said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, one half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone in any matter, I will repay him fourfold. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because of this, he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what had been lost. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection What in your life is preventing you from climbing the tree of humility, letting Jesus see your needs, and inviting him to transform your heart today? At that time, Jesus came to Jericho, and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. Luke 19 verses 1 to 3 Once again, our Lord reaches out to someone who comes to him in humility and need. Zacchaeus was a wealthy man, materially speaking. But interiorly, he was poor and in need. And it was this spiritual poverty he was experiencing that led him to seek out Jesus with much determination. Zacchaeus probably never imagined that day that Jesus would offer to come to his home. Clearly, he climbed the tree to get a glimpse of Jesus because he felt a strong desire to know our Lord. Since he was physically wealthy, it seems clear that he no longer was satisfied in life simply because of a comfortable lifestyle. Something was missing, and he couldn't help but know that Jesus held the answer. So Zacchaeus did what some may have thought unusual. He climbed a tree to be able to see Jesus. Why did Jesus stop, look up at Zacchaeus, and call him down, stating that he was going to stay at Zacchaeus' home? It's because Jesus was able to sense the need within the heart of Zacchaeus. Hearts that are poor, in need, and open, are very attractive to Jesus. He never misses the opportunity to come to humble souls like this. Zacchaeus responds to our Lord immediately by promising to right the wrongs he has done in the past. He promises to give away half of his possessions and to repay anyone he has extorted fourfold. This reveals the authenticity of Zacchaeus' heart. As Jesus passes by you, what does he sense? Is he drawn to your heart? Is he drawn to you because of your interior disposition of humility and need? It is easy for us to go through life, acting as if we have it all together. We can put on a facade that portrays an attitude of strength and success. But Jesus rarely comes to the soul who expresses little need. If we want to draw Jesus to ourselves, then we must acknowledge the poverty within ourselves, even if we are materially wealthy and successful in a worldly way. Every one of us must humble ourselves like Zacchaeus, by knowing that Jesus is the only answer in life. Reflect today upon the fact that you and you alone have the ability to draw Jesus to yourself. You can do this by looking at your need for him. Do not hide it. 
Climb the figurative tree by which you will be able to look for Jesus and more importantly, by which Jesus can see your manifest desire for him. As you express your need for him, know that he will be compelled, by his unshakable love and mercy, to come to you and to stay with you in the house of your soul. And when he does, be ready and willing to abandon all that has been a hindrance to your meeting with Christ in the past. Let us pray. My attentive Lord, you are always aware of every heart that longs for you. You never ignore those who desire you in their life. Please help me to see my own interior needs and struggles, and to see you as the only source of fulfillment in life. I commit myself to seeking you out, dear Lord. And as you come to me, I commit to abandon all that has kept me from you in the past. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.